Hi, this is Daryl Peterson with Micromeasurements, and I'd like to take a minute and introduce you to two of our environmental coatings. The one that's on the left side, this is 3140 RTV, and the one on the right is 3145 RTV. These two materials are both uh, silicone rubber compound um, that's provided from Dow Corning. The difference between these is 3140 is somewhat clear where you can easily see through it, where 3145 uh, is gray and opaque, so you can't see through it. You'll also find that 3140 is self-leveling, so when you apply it, it'll have a tendency to run. For example, if this were a vertical surface, it would run down, where 3145 will not. It'll uh, stay in place. Why you would select an RTV as a protective coating, um, typically RTVs have a very wide operating temperature range. In general, these can be used at temperatures up above 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you've got a stress analysis application and you're expecting high temperature, that would be a, a real strong uh, reason to use uh, one of these materials. Uh, oftentimes we find the gray one, the 3145, is also used as a lead wire anchor. Uh, it can help hold down your lead wire. So let's say you're putting a strain gauge on a large pressure vessel and you need to figure out a way to hold those leads down, you can use 3145 to do that as well. Uh, another advantage to using these coatings is that once they're fully cured, they're still a rubber compound and basically they stay softer. So if you're concerned about localized reinforcement, you'll really help to reduce that by using uh, silicon rubber. If you'd like to find out more about 3140 or 3145 or any of the micromeasurements environmental coatings, take a look at our website at www.micro-measurements.com.